it's Jessie V, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about cursed jewelry. That's why I chose an outfit to wear jewelry with. This is not cursed though, don't worry. I gotta tell you guys, doing research for this video was so scary because of how dark it is, and because these are true stories. These aren't creepypastas, these aren't legends or ghost stories, these are things that happened to real people in real life. We're talking about three different necklaces and what's crazy is that all of these necklaces are diamonds. Before I get started, I just want to remind you guys about all the Valentine's Day stuff we added to our merch website. They are mainly Valentine's Day colored plushies, mermaid unicorn, mermaid unicorn, mermaid unicorn, narwhal unicorn, and the fluffiest narwhal I've ever seen. This is literally my rainbow wonderland dream. Anyways guys, those are limited edition for Valentine's Day. The link is down below in the description. If you weren't able to get a Valentine's Day mystery box, these are a good next option. And yeah, let's get into these scary diamonds, shall we? So we're gonna talk about the Hope Diamond. According to the legend, a curse befell this large blue diamond when it was stolen from an idol in India. The curse gives bad luck and death, not only to the owner of the diamond, but for all who touches it. So if you own this diamond, you are done for. And even if you touch it, you will get extreme bad luck. So we're gonna go through the list of everybody who owned this necklace and what happened to them. This is a warning, this video gets very dark and sad. Whether or not you believe in the curse, the Hope Diamond has intrigued people for centuries. Its perfect quality, its large size, and its rare color makes it strikingly unique and beautiful. Get ready for the most mind-blowing and dark sequence of events. On September 11th, 1792, the Hope Diamond was stolen by a French man named Jean Baptiste. So he stole this diamond, took it for himself, thinking everything would be okay. But then he came down with a raging fever. He eventually died and his body was eaten by wolves. So worst death ever? Then, the diamond moved on to King Louis XIV. After owning this diamond for a little while, the king died of something called gangrene, which is something usually caused by a bacteria infection in your body. And back then, when medicine was pretty much terrible, it was horrible to come down with something like that. So he died, and all of his children died, except for one. That one got away and was fine. Then, there was a rumor that Marie Antoinette wore it for a short period of time. And we all know what happened to Marie Antoinette. She was beheaded. That's the story and the rumor anyway. There's no actual photograph or painting of her actually wearing the necklace. Then, Marie Louise, who was Mary Antoinette's best friend, wore the necklace, and soon after, she was killed by a mob of people in the town. Then there was a man named Willem Falls. He was a Dutch jeweler who recut the diamond into a slightly different shape. So he was just an innocent jeweler, just recutting shaping the diamond, trying to make it look nicer. He had no idea of the diamond's history. And soon after touching it and changing it, his son murdered him. Yeah. Then the diamond went to Evelyn Walsh McLean. She was a very rich and spoiled woman who lived a very charmed life until she bought the Hope Diamond. She happily wore this diamond around everywhere and wanted to show it off. Sometimes she would even attach the diamond to her dog's collar so her dog can walk around with the diamond as well. She was a bit obsessive, you could say. But wearing this diamond came with a very steep price. First, her mother-in-law died. Then her son died at the age of nine. Then her husband left her for another woman, and then he died in a mental hospital later on. And then her daughter died of a drug overdose at only 25 years old. So everyone around her basically perished, and people think it was because of the diamond. Evelyn's surviving kids sold the diamond to a man named Harry Winston. He kept this diamond for nine years, and then mysteriously sent it away from his house 
house. He didn't want to have it anymore, didn't say why. So he decided to mail this necklace to a museum. He didn't want any money for it. In fact, it only cost him $2.44 to send this diamond away. Now, the mailman, his name was James Todd, the mailman that had to take this jewel to the museum, apparently later on had his leg crushed in a truck accident. And uh, then his house burnt down. On November 10th, 1958, the Hope Diamond was officially displayed at the museum, and almost immediately, the Great Blue Stone became its premier attraction. And that's where it has been ever since. So it's remained there, and you just stay far away. The next necklace is called the Black Orlov Diamond. The stone was allegedly stolen from one of the eyes in a statue in India, which would explain the curse and the many tragedies to follow from the owners of this black diamond. The first owner was a man named J.W. Paris. He owned the diamond for a little while and then fell off a skyscraper in New York City. The next owners were two Russian princesses, Nadia Orlov and Leonila Bariatinsky, who both fell off buildings in Rome. So there's a pattern with people falling off buildings while owning this necklace. People started to realize that this necklace was probably cursed, so they decided to try and break the curse. They had a jeweler cut the diamond into different smaller pieces. This jeweler said that by breaking the diamond up, it would definitely break the curse. And maybe it did, because since it was broken up, no one has fallen off buildings. No one had heard anything about the diamond until 2006. Felicity Huffman was supposed to wear the necklace at the 2006 Academy Awards, but she mysteriously decided against it very last minute. Smart move, I would say. And let's move on to the very last jewel. Oh, this one actually isn't a necklace, it's just a diamond. It is called the Koai Nur Diamond. Hope I'm saying that correctly. This 186 carat diamond can be seen in the Tower of London on display as a massive part of the crown jewels. It's crazy because I was there in 2014 and I had no idea this diamond had a curse to it. The diamond was taken from India in 1850 and given to the British royal family. I see this pattern here of people stealing diamonds from India. Maybe don't do that. Today, it's currently set into the crown of Queen Elizabeth, which is one of the crowns on display. What's very strange about this curse is that it only affects the men who wear it. Women are completely safe. Every man who has worn the stone has lost his throne. So that one is a very strange curse. There's no death involved, but men have lost their throne by wearing it. Anyways guys, those are all of the jewels we're gonna be talking about today. If you want me to do more stuff on this topic, definitely give this video a thumbs up because there is a lot of cursed jewelry and history that I can go into. I just wanted to start with the diamonds. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget all the new Valentine's Day stuff is linked down below in the description. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!